Eclectic Free Press Daily Update, 624.12. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. In the no matter what, the light has won. Greetings, love beings. We have been in intense energies for the last four days, and these will continue arriving in waves until the entire planet is awakened. These waves are for clearing out the old and bringing in the higher energies. Many may be feeling disoriented as they let go of the old to fully step into the new reality. No doubt about this now, everyone is in for a ride. There is nowhere to go back to, and there are no seatbelts. Yet, the denser energies are still trying to resist. This does not surprise us. Drake shared about his frustration, frustration in today's radio update. Jeffrey West from Cosmic Vision News called in and made a suggestion to hold this situation in the highest light. Many, including your Earth allies, are suggesting this as well. In the no matter what, love wins. Thank you for keeping your focus on this truth. From God's portal, seed the intention, harvest comes quickly. Seed sown with care from higher ground. Higher mind from his heart bring forth rapid harvest. Energetics and energetic structure support only that which harmonizes with the higher planetary visions. Full galactic support for such is now assured. Portending doomsdayers have written their own end, not the end of the world, rather the end of their own place. End of quote. Continued from Guadalupe. Wow, does it harmonize with this? Note that Drake has received a report that is important Namely, the powers that were, are trying to bring in one world government. So, surprise, surprise. He is quite upset and definitely energized by what is going on. Again, I encourage each of you to hold this call and hold this situation in higher light. As you listen to the call and remain free from fear, this is one of the best things that we can do for this planet at this time. I suggest that we all please hold this call and this entire situation in the higher light, end of quote. From Montague King, Cabal cannot exist on your planet as it is, beyond 2012, so it's all or nothing for them. They will do whatever it takes to hang on. There is nanotechnology that can stop them in their tracks. Nothing on your planet would be effective against them. Assistance is coming to you from many quarters. The spirit world and several other planets are poised and ready to come. You can see that the floodgates have opened. The truth is being placed before you. It is no longer possible to keep the truth hidden. You need the truth to set you free. End of quote. We've had several successful events in favor of the light in these last four days. We have gone through a powerful solstice, which has assisted in two significant energy events. One was the complete balance of the male feminine energy, and this activated all higher selves. This was coupled with the planetary act which activated the planetary grid. All of humanity who were ready to receive this energy are now in process of these higher energies, and many others are now on the path of light. This was then followed with a planetary internet love party, which 73 higher self souls of love, true family, and true equality gathered. All who participated with us in all these events represented themselves as well as the entire planet and their complete freedom from the chains of illusion. Together, we are indeed victorious. <clears throat> Mike Quinby with Salusa had this to say. Our current plan is to start the action within a matter of days and not weeks. But nevertheless, there is no question of it never going ahead. However, as you have learned, there is a line drawn from which we must get started, even if it means becoming more directly involved. All along, we have tried to encourage your participation in the preparations for Ascension, and that has not changed but we will move into action when given the authority. You will know when action is imminent, as our allies intend to give a public announcement beforehand. Our tasks are looking a lot easier now that the Dark Ones are no longer the power they were. The work of our allies has been extremely successful in breaking down their power structure, and they no longer command such large forces as previously. In fact, their capitulation has taken place in all but name, and we await for their final admission of defeat. So whatever news you do hear, do not fear. So whatever news 
you do here. Do not fear the consequences as we are in control and short of minor irritations, we will not allow our efforts to be interfered with. There are still those who paint a picture of catastrophic happenings, but be assured that any physical changes will be more in the way of local changes and not worldwide. Bear in mind that we can moderate the effects of earthquakes and contain them to ensure that only the minimum of damage occurs. It is instrumental in transmuting the lower energies and removing more power from the dark ones so that their attempts to carry on are doomed to failure. We would not, in any event, allow them to rise up again, and their days are finished. In one way or another, they will be removed and placed where they cannot interfere with divine plan. To some extent, you can sit back and enjoy the coming period, but be aware that once the fun starts, it will come thick and fast. End of quote. As a result of these events, the energies have now combined into one timeline. This is the only timeline which exists now. Through this timeline, only the highest outcome or the highest good for all of the planet Earth equal heart and all, all of creation can occur. No matter what, peace on Earth is guaranteed. Through this one timeline merging, we are now preparing everyone for liftoff. The truth will set humanity free and the whole truth is to be revealed. We will be taking everyone through a quantum leap, paradigm shift, and a vertical learning curve all at once. In the no matter what, the life has won indeed. Decreed by heaven, the light has won, and this is to be revealed to everyone on this planet. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth Equal Heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission and all love is unconditionally, we are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, Humanity's Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew team.